four, and a woman from North Attleboro is going to be suing Women and Infants Hospital Fertility Center. She says the hospital froze her embryo and kept it for 13 years without her knowledge. Woman claims that if she had known about the embryo, she would have tried to have more children. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald is in the control room now with a breakdown on the accusations and how the fertility center is responding. Danielle and Patrick, the North Attleboro woman says she was only informed of the existence of the embryo when she received a bill years later. Marissa Cloutier Bristol tells our Boston affiliate that she and her late husband John had one son, then went through multiple rounds of in vitro fertilization to try to have another child back in 2003. But those attempts were unsuccessful and they ended the treatment. John passed away of a heart attack years later. Cloutier Bristol got a bill in 2017 for $500 for storing an embryo. And she said now she is suing women and infants, claiming had she and her late husband known of the stored embryo, they would have attempted another pregnancy. The loss of my husband came back to me. Um, the hopes and dreams that we had to have another child came back to me. I feel like I'm grieving a child that I, I didn't even have the opportunity of having. The Fertility Center says they cannot comment on this specific case due to privacy laws, but said in a statement, quote, we maintain a commitment to open and honest communication with all patients about all aspects of their fertility treatment. And Cloutier Bristol is suing the Fertility Center for breach of informed consent, breach of contract, professional negligence, and negligent infl infliction of emotional distress. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.